been 13 years since Disney and Pixar's Finding Nemo hit the big screen, but director Andrew Stanton and company haven't missed a beat with Finding Dory, which picks up just one year after the events of the first film. Only this time the focus has shifted to everybody's favorite blue fish, voiced by Ellen DeGeneres, much to good effect. While Pixar's accumulating IPs have gotten a little samey in recent years, Finding Dory makes the most of its underwater setting and offers a heartwarming, if familiar, sequel. In the new film, Dory suddenly recalls memories from her childhood, back when she was living with her parents. Determined to find them, she and her friends Marlin and Nemo set out in search of Morrow Bay, California, where Dory last remembers seeing her family. However, when they arrive, they realize that setting up a reunion may be trickier than they thought. In the early going, Finding Dory follows a lot of the same story beats as Finding Nemo, and it feels somewhat repetitive as a result. Like the first film, the sequel opens with a tragic backstory and jumps ahead to the Great Barrier Reef, where our heroes set out on their next big adventure. Before you know it, they're catching waves with sea turtles again and dealing with predators a thousand times their size. It isn't until Dory and her friends arrive at their destination that the sequel really starts to come into its own. Obviously, Dory was the breakout character of Finding Nemo, as she offered the biggest laughs of that film. And while that's still the case here, Dory's story arc in the sequel is considerably more tear-jerking than last time. Meanwhile, Marlin and Nemo develop their own rapport, although they're pushed to the sidelines a bit in favor of furthering Dory's journey. Then there are the new characters, which are also great, including Ed O'Neill as a grumpy octopus, Caitlin Olsen as a chipper whale shark, and Ty Burrell as a nosy beluga whale. Of course, it goes without saying that Finding Dory is visually spectacular. Just when you thought CG water couldn't look any better, Pixar's team went and raised the bar again with their latest offering. Between the impeccable lighting and photorealistic textures, this may be the studio's most technically brilliant movie to date. In the end, Finding Dory flourishes where most animated sequels don't. Rather than rehashing the best parts of the original, it takes the characters on a new and exciting journey that's both harrowing and inspiring. Granted, the film occasionally echoes parts of Finding Nemo, but again, it really picks up in that second half and delivers plenty of laughs to keep viewers of all ages entertained. I know where my parents are. They're in, um, uh, what's it called? The place, uh, you, uh, soap and lotion? Open, Open ocean. ocean. Open ocean! <laughs>